active shutter grill slipping actuator slipping on the 2020 Toyota Corolla hybrid all right so I, I googled this is a Russian website active grill shutter a actuator slipping now I believe you won't pass emissions with the engine because this, this will trigger the engine light it'll go uh, pending cold then after it fails the, the, the test if, it, if the computer uh, still is tempting it's slipping from the switch it'll set the uh, check engine light where you can visibly see it so on a cheap $30 scanner only code i was getting was p05a0 which is stuck on it says active grill shutter a stuck on when you look that up when in my more uh i say a uh, professional scanner the uh, x tool d7 then I was getting P05A074. So goes to show you, depending on the scanner you have, you may not read all the codes. All right. So $30 scan was saying was stuck on P05A0 and slipping. Actually, it's slipping. All right. Did this will in your diagnostic process this will put you in two different directions just by reading the description all right so let's see what's what's going on with this the, the problem is fixed the engine lights off all right so it says active grill uh, air shutter a actuator slipping either the following conditions is met and the ecm receives a malfunction signal 17 times to trip detection logic so in my case, the this switch was let's call it a tab and a nipple. The tab was off of the nipple. So when the shutter would open, the switch would be in a different position. So the switch was, was reporting back a different position from the actual actuator. see let me show you a picture so it can be more clear all right this picture right here all right so this is the switch that's inside the actual shutter grill all right this piece right here you can see the phillips head this reports back to the computer to monitor the shutter opening and closing where the nipple is. All right, so if this is if this tabs off this little nipple here, they're in two different positions. All right, so the computer knows that the grill is in a different position than the switch. All right, so how this happened? A tree hit the front of this car, a tree branch, and the car ran over the tree branch and you got a front bumper damage. All right. He went forward with the tree branch under the car and when he pulled over, he went backwards a little bit, the bumper pulled out. So in the midst of a storm, a rainstorm. So this got dislodged this tab here got dislodged from this nipple so there's two different the computer's reading two different uh, positions all right and you see some wires here it goes to a wiring harness all right so it's reading two different positions so we would like the, the the check engine light saying that it's slipping all right that's that's the description they decided to the name it all right so if you're having an issue that issue maybe something similar going on with your shutter grill all right 
either this tab is off the nipple because of front end damage it was hit it ran over something vibration knocked it loose uh, uh, something got in here uh, that disturbed this position it almost seems like it's almost impossible for it to jump off here but that tree branch did it it jumped off this little nipple here all right so it's reporting back different positions all right you'll see in the video when i get it back on and i'm going to physically move the shutter grill all right i, I put the it was showing three codes same same um it was three um three codes it was p 05A074. It was a permanent code. It was a pending code. Then it was a active code. Alright. Now when I fixed it, the active code went away. And it just had the pending and a permanent. When I cleared it and drove it for about eight miles, everything was gone, even the permanent code. I was under the impression that the permanent codes don't go away. But apparently in a 2020 Toyota Corolla Hybrid, the permanent code went away. I turned it off, turned it back on, cleared the code, turned the car off, turned it back on, drove for about eight miles. The code, the engine light never came back and I plugged the, the X2 D7 back up and everything was green. All right, I didn't get video of that. I apologize. All right, PO. P05A0 active grill shutter air verify switch input. All right, so the let's go down to this diagram. So, from what it looks like, I'm gonna picture back up here. This is how it tells where the the shutter is. All right, and it makes sense. I see sense one, sense two, and then a ground. Bring that picture back up for you. Just bear with me. I'm gonna show you, show you a lot of pictures. So that makes sense. You kind of getting it. So if this tab was off, it, it can't determine the position of the shutter grill. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure most active shutter grills work similar to this. There's going to be some variation of this. This is 2020 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. All right, I'm going to show you some video of the, of the repair. It's pretty simple. And any more information we can get out of this website? It says... Um, What the when, when you're diagnosing this, you have to determine whether it's the the grill, the active grill, or is it the actuator? Like, is it stuck open or stuck closed? This is why with the thirty dollars tool, the cord I was getting was stuck on. So I'm thinking, stuck on. Is it something in the grill causing it to stay open or closed? I, I looked at it. I, I uh, took the bumper off. Look, I didn't see any debris. I'm like, it can't be stuck on or stuck off. So when I got the X-Tool D7, I command, I went into the special uh, functions. I believe that was the menu I was in. And I commanded it uh, on or open. And I saw it open and it closed. I'm like, it's opening and closing. Is it not going into the lock position? Is that the reason why? Because the code is, <laughs> is this stuck on? So I'm at first I'm thinking stuck on means it's it can't close but this makes no sense that's what's a 30 dollar scanner then i got the the d7 the x d7 i got the uh there the code that was that i was saying up there the uh actuator slipping now how does it know it's slipping well because of that that uh white tab that's how it knows it's slipping let me bring it back so you can see it 
I mean, because the actuator itself, where is that at? Like, how, do, how would this know that, that it's slipping? You know? It's just a motor that output that turns, and it turns the uh, grill. All right? There's no sensing in here, to my knowledge. All right? I have more pictures. I'll show you all the pictures I got. So this makes more sense for it to be able to detect whether the actuator is slipping by this. All right. Because I, I used a little hook tool, hooked it back on. The engine light was still on. It didn't clear by itself, but the, uh, the active light, the active code, it was three codes that showed up, the same code. It was uh, permanent, pending, and then active. The active code disappeared, and the pending and the permanent code stayed. And I drove it, and it was still just two codes instead of three. Then I uh, cleared it, drove it for about eight miles, plugged it back in, and nothing was there. Not even a permanent code. All right? So the computer cleared that permanent code once it it was seeing both values where the way it was supposed to see the, uh, the, the sensor or the switch really. All right. That's monitoring the position of the, the grill, the actual grill. And you'll see that in the video. All right. We're going to see if anything more we can get out of this. So you, so you're determining, determining whether what's one, it, it can only be one of the two. It's either the motor is not opening and closing Motors opening really slowly, opening too quickly. You got to say that too. Some variation between opening and closing, or the the grill itself is not. It's it's stuck in some position when it's not supposed to be stuck. All right. So the computer knows the time it takes to open, time it takes to close. So it determined that. It was slipping because of the two, the grill and the the switch or sensor was two different values when it's supposed to be the same value. All right, actuator slipping. Okay. In my opinion, maybe it, it could have came up with a uh, like out of value, out of range, maybe. And maybe that is a code, but it's just a code. It, it, it's set based upon you know automotive engineers. Uh, thinking all right so the, when diagnosing this you would want to determine whether it's the grill the switch or the actuator which is just the motor that turns the grill that's the bumper. Now, the bottom end, oh, come on. The bottom end splash guards are all gone. So the bumper may look a little different on your car. I believe that sensor is the radar for the steer for the um, either the lane keeping or the active cruise control. If I'm not mistaken, it has a QR code there. That's code we looked up. So this is what the grill looks like. All right. I believe that may be some a, a type of air sensor. Not too sure. But that's this is the actual grill, shutter grill, the active shutter grill. The bumpers off. All right. That's this, some type of I believe some type of air temperature sensor. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. There's two bolts on each side. That's the motor or actuator. You can see that. That's the wiring harness that goes into the actuator. Which is the motor that turns the grill. And, that's, and this is about 
$375 and I saw it somewhere else for $100 cheaper, both from Toyota. So it's between $275 and $375 for this motor. And I was thinking it was this motor. But when I commanded it on, when I commanded it open with the D7, X, X-Tool D7, it, it opened. And I can actively see it as it goes to different temperature ranges, I can, without the scan tool, I can see open and closing. I'm like, so if it's opening and closing, is the computer sensing, sensing that it's not opening and closing when it's commanded to all the time? So it's setting the cold. So I was thinking that too. So like uh, 275 for this, 375, and then maybe a, a, what, 150 for the, if the uh, rotor, if the, uh, the grill is bad. Then I'm not even sure if the grill came with the switch. And this is looking down from up top. Let's see that. All right, so a little close up. We got one, six wires going into the actuator motor. And this is the cover for the motor, the actuator. more pictures just in case you're wondering and a QR code Let's see the other side because before this I wasn't too familiar how these systems work now I I'm pretty I'm pretty now knowledgeable about how this system works I was looking at each part of it see if there there were some type of sensors in it and maybe need to be clean or cleared I wasn't sure how it worked so when I was taking it apart I was, I was trying to take some detailed pictures so if I had to buy it I wouldn't get the wrong one leaving a dealership if we found it cheaper, I would have to buy it online from another dealership from maybe from another state. Yeah. All right. Yep, yeah, and it just, just turns each way to open the grill. You can see that. And this is a, this is the switch. Three wires and goes down to a wire and harness and goes into the, into the car or engine bay. It leads to the computer. And so all I did was move this, this tab onto this nipple. And now they're moving at the same, at, they're moving in unison now. And that fixed the problem. All right. Now, if I got damage that, damage the sensor broke one of the uh the vents that would be more visible so so when it comes down to it this is not once you understand how the system works this system is very easy to work with all right you can see if, whether any broken wires any wires detached you know you have to just check for normal operation you know, video should be coming up All right, here's the video. So I did, it. and I and I and I fixed it. Now, when I was putting it back together, I didn't put the the uh, actuator cover back on because I didn't know it was, if it was going to fix it. I was about ninety percent sure it was going to work. I said when I looked at it, I said, "There's no way this is a problem. There's no way." So. It's either it's either actually it says slipping out of alignment or slipping or there's something electrically making it read that way or physically something's broken or something's causing it not to close or open all the way. So a cold would set. All right. That's the bumper. It's simple fix 
No, you got to get the bumper off. <laughs> but that was it. That was causing the slip cold or out of range. I think that's a better, better uh, term. And now it's moving in unison. So now the switch going into the wiring harness can can read that the the grill. As you can see, I'm, I'm opening and closing the grill and the switch are in unison. So now it has no reason to set the code. So I pulled back the active code. And all I had was pending and permanent. Then I cleared it, turned the car on, on and off, drove it for eight miles, put the, the X tool D7 back on, and everything was gone. Even the permanent code was gone. All right. So relatively. If you have the right knowledge, the majority of these, these problems are easy to fix. All right, I think I have another video. Okay, me. <laughs> the end, putting it back on at the end. Yeah, and I didn't put the, the cover back on. You just need a flathead screwdriver to, to access both ends. Let that loop. Yeah, relatively easy fix. You just have to have a visual visual inspection. That's what the website was saying. Visual inspection, or you can have you know your service data. You know you gotta have all data um, identifix or some access to some service data. Or you know sometimes people do videos that have the service data. All right, so either one going to either one or the other. Well, you have three three things you could have. It it could be something with the accident, or uh, whether it's that with another car or comprehensive claim with a storm. All right, whether you report it or not, <laughs> it's going to be something physically blocking the active shutter grill currently, or the thing that was blocking it now physically broke something in the shutter grill all right it's going to be something in the wires maybe a, a cut wire i'm sure more codes would, would come up if a, if a wire was uh cut but the, the code that, that showed was slipping let's go back to the other one so if it's slipping. So if it's slipping, that means this switch or sensor is out of alignment because the computer, depending on how the advanced the software is, the computer, I'm sure, can sense if electrically one of the wires is open or shorted. So another quote would set. But in the event that it's not set, you would have to physically look at the wires. All right, because if those the electrical signals coming from the switch are open or shorted, you're going to get a different reading. So you, you'll either lose control of the position of that of that uh, tab, or you'll or you'll get a, a reading that doesn't make sense. It's one or the, one or the other. All right. So electrically, everything was good. It was just the the, the switch. And the position of the actual grill were two different values. All right, when it was open, the grill is supposed to be in a certain position. When it's closed, the grill is supposed to be in a certain position. And that white tab monitors it. When I put that tab on on that nipple, took it for the test drive, cleared the codes, didn't come back. So I fixed it. 